Hey guys, so this is a follow-up from the uh, event that occurred at the DMV Fairfax uh, Westfield um, DMV office in Chantilly, Virginia. Um, I wasn't able to get down to Richmond until two weeks later to do this complaint, and this is actually the same day that I was arrested at the parole office. But I went there to do the complaint. Um, I was hoping to talk to some leadership uh, for the DMV to find out why um, the DMV is so unaware of the First Amendment. Um, but they just said I could only put in complaint forms at the time and follow up with some, um, you know, district managers or, or whoever after that. Um, so I went to do that. When I first went in, um, you know, I walked in, camera filming, no problem. Got in line, cut the camera off because I didn't see a point in filming while I was just standing in line. And sure enough, when my camera's off, one of the security guards walks up and is like, you can't film in here. And I said, why? And he um, he was like, oh, well, it's posted on the door. And, um, of course, I knew it wasn't because I always check that stuff. Um, and so I was like, can you show me? And he's like, yeah. And so I followed him over to the door, and that's the point when I got my camera cut back on. Sure enough, it's not on the door. And so he's like, oh, you got to go over to the, to the security station. And then um, I guess his boss... Um, you know, it's like, oh, no, it's okay, because I talked to, you'll, you'll see what happens, um, but after that, um, you know, when I got to the counter, and I started talking to one of the managers, he tried to give me a hard time about the camera, of course, I shut that down, so, um, I put in the complaints, I'll show you at the end the actual text of the complaints, what I wrote and all that, um, but then today, um, today is February 11th, today I'm editing the video and all that, um, I got this letter in the mail, um, and this is what it says. This letter confirms receipt of your complaint form submitted January 28, 2019 at the Department of Motor Vehicles, Richmond Central Customer Service Center. Thank you for notifying us about your January 14, 2019 experience at DMV's Fairfax Westfield's Customer Service Center in Chantilly. Prior to receiving your complaint form and immediately following the incident you reported, DMV had conducted a review of the incident and has taken appropriate action. Thank you for sharing this information. Sincerely, Jason Brown, Virginia Assistant Commissioner, their DMV Assistant Commissioner. So. I guess they had already heard about it. I'm sure the maybe the manager there reported it because she, you know, felt unsure about how she acted. Who knows? Um, but I'm really curious what this uh, appropriate action that was taken. Um, so maybe we'll do a follow-up um, at the Westfield Customer Service Center in Chantilly. Um and I'm definitely going to try and call the DMV or email or whoever, find out, try and get in touch with Mr. Brown here and find out what this appropriate action was. Um, and also, um, the guy that I talked to, or the guy that said it was okay, the security guard that said it was okay to film, the boss, um, he gave me um, a business card for the security company. It's SOS Security. And actually, um, after being to a few different places, it, I think that security company handles all the security for all state offices in Virginia. Um, so we might get in contact with them, find out why their security guards are unaware that they're working in public buildings. Um, or maybe we'll just go audit their headquarters, which is in New Jersey. So a little bit of a drive, but uh, we might take the trip just, just for fun and uh, maybe do an audit outside their facility. Who knows? Anyway, guys, here's the video of me um, filling out my complaint forms, and uh, we will be following up with this, so I appreciate you following along. In the city of Richmond? No, no thank you. Hey, oh, okay, thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
good. How are you? Good. Um, I need to get some complaint forms. Um, I was trying to talk to someone within like the DMV leadership um, about one of the DMV managers. Um, remember which manager it was? I don't know her name, and that's why I'm trying to figure out her and the security guard that works there. So you, was it at this location or a different no? It was location? Fairfax Westfield. Okay, so um, leadership here would probably be our. Um, either our manager or our district manager and they can also get you the complaint form as well. Okay, so okay. who would um, I? Give me one second and I can call to see which manager. Okay, you. thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, hey there, sir. What you doing with your phone? What's that? What you doing with your phone? What do you mean? Why are you holding it like that? I'm recording. All right, I'm, I'm, I would not like to be recorded, please. Okay, well, you're a public servant, and I'm trying to have an interaction with you, okay. so. Okay. I'm telling you I don't want to be recorded, but you're going ahead anyway. Go ahead. It's, that's my right to do so, but okay. So um, I had some complaints about another DMV, and I was trying to speak to some DMV leadership about it, put in some complaint forms, so sure. I'm just trying Let to make that happen. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to fill this section out right here. Okay. You put your complaint down on the paper right there. Do you think you'll need an extra piece of paper? Um, I'll probably need a another complaint form just for the other person um, sure. that I'm making. And also, um, who would I follow up with on this? Like once I turn it into you? It'll go. It'll get sent up to our district manager. Okay. And do you have her name? Sure. Okay. Is this for, is this for the, uh, is this for the um, manager complaint that you... you yeah, another DMB manager. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and just to let you know, there's also other ways. If, if you want to go online to mm -hmm. our website, you can go on there, and it'll say contact me, and you can do that. Okay. And that will actually have a person that will contact you, and you'll also get your, you'll get feedback. Okay. All right. Thank you. Two? Yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah, and the district manager is uh, Jennifer Wilson. Jennifer Wilson. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is she? She's just over this area, though, right? She's it was in the Richmond district. Okay, because it was um in Fairfax, so I don't know if she could put me in contact with the right person or. Um, we are in Fairfax because we have Fairfax. North Fairfax North. Westfield. Westfield. Mm -hmm.
trying to get a registration for my work thing. What's my ID? Uh, no, it's going to be under precision. Okay. I don't know whether they paid off, they got lost, I'm just trying to get the settings. Good money for you? Uh, I'm going to say yes. We're getting our paycheck then, Nico. That's always a good thing, right? Yeah. And that that of um is Candace Dreher, D R E H E R. What is it? D D R E H E R. D R E H E R. Um, do you happen to have the address for the Fairfax Westfield? Hi. Mm -hmm. Um. And you got contact information in here, so they can contact mm -hmm. you. Okay. Um, I didn't. I don't know if you if you know this, but um, what is what is the job of the security? The security yeah. is to make sure that, you know, the safety of the customers as well as the employees. Okay, so if a customer got assaulted by another customer, they would have to intervene in that? Um, they would, I would say yes. Okay. So, um, you know, if it's, it was it on the grounds? It was inside the DMV. So I'll, I'll explain to you what happened if you want to know, but, um, basically, you know, same thing. I was recording in the DMV, um, trying to conduct the business and another customer came up beside me and pushed me and, um, told me not to record it. And then he got up in my face and pushed me and I told him, you know, to get off of me. And I looked, security guards right here. I said, ma'am, can you confront this gentleman? And she looked right at me, straight face, and then just turned away. And then I continued to be assaulted and harassed by that customer. So, I mean, to me, that's absolutely outrageous. So, the DMV takes away my ability to defend myself, so they should have an obligation to protect me. Uh, and did you speak to the manager that day? Oh, yeah, she trespassed me because he assaulted me, and he was allowed to stay. So, that's my other complaint. Well, I know that. I was just asking if, um, you know, that was within their duties to, you know. Um, but I'm going to ask them, too, so. Okay. All right. Thank and you. I'll, I'll see if someone will contact you. Okay. And what, okay? Was, what was your name, My name is Rebecca Steele. Rebecca, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, are you guys, uh, do you guys work for the DMV or are you contracted? Uh, Quest is going to be directed. Okay. Hey, I was just, um, I was just wondering, are you guys, um, contracted or do you work for the DMV? Contracted, sir. Oh, okay. What's the name of the company? SOS. SOS? Okay. All right, thanks, man. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, thanks, man. Okay. Thanks, man. Hey, you've been very great. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. Have a good day.